Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 22 of the Lico Day Challenge. Um, and we also have the Premium Challenge if you want to, you know, f hit that button. But yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So we have palindrome linked list. Um, yeah, and then the follow up is end time or one space. Uh, return true if it's a palindrome or force otherwise. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I think, you know, just doing it is pretty straightforward. I'm trying to think about the follow-up, uh, to be honest, um, because uh, mm, how would you do it? I mean, okay, if you have linear space, then obviously you just construct the number list and then just see if it's same backwards, right? Um, and that's pretty straightforward, kind of. Um, but yeah, can I do an N of N time and O of one space? Hmm. Well, I mean, I think the big thing to, uh, I mean, you, I, I think there are some cute things you can do. Mm, can I take advantage? Uh, I guess uh, I was thinking about some stuff around like um, using a digit and stuff like that, but I guess that's kind of cheating, right? Because even though we can abuse this a little bit, but eh, if you have like that many nodes and in a big num or something like this, then it's still going to be, um, um, you know, that's still not going to be so good. Um, I mean, there is some like probabilistic algorithm, algorithms, right? Because you can just like create a hash going forward. Um, do a, do the regular reverse linked list algo and then going backwards and then do that hash and then, you know, it will be probabilistically whatever, right? And pound drum is just the same back and forth. So then we do that and then you could compare the hashes um, and then that, that there you get a probabilistic algorithm of all of n time and all of one space because it's kind of like having a, a, a base 10 number except for it's hashed, right? So it's kind of, you could do it that way. Um, but I don't know if that's in the spirit of things, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe it is, or maybe it's fine. But uh, so if, if you want to accept that, then maybe that'll be fine. I'm trying to think whether there's another way. Um, mm. Oh, okay. I guess so. I mean... I think the O of one space is a little bit possibly deceptive, right? Because, I don't know, like if we're, if we're manipulating the linked list, does that count? Because eh, you really shouldn't be mucking around with that. Though. I mean, I guess you can fix it afterwards. But I guess the, the way that I'm thinking about now is that, okay, you can get to the middle of the list, right? Um, there's an algo. I mean, you just have a slow and a fast. You get to the middle of the list. And then now you reverse the middle of the list or you reverse the first half of it by by starting from the node in the middle and then after you reverse it um after you reverse it then now from the from the middle you can just step one at a time so okay so that that you can do in linear time constant space um that seems pretty okay like i said i do feel a little bit awkward manipulating the inputs uh or the linked list because it, it is just like a very awkward thing to do when you talk about extra space because i don't know it's just a little bit, and and there's nothing to be said. But sometimes some functions you kind of expect them to be, or uh, expect there to be a side effect because side effect is why you're calling the function. Um, I don't think anyone in their right mind thinks it, that you know you call call is palindrome on a linked list that it will mess up your linked list, right? That would just not be acceptable. So I think that's a little bit weird and a little bit silly. But um. But that is a way to do it. So I'm going to just write it out really, really quick. So, yeah, so there are two ways to do it, I think. One of them is probabilistic, right? So probabilistic algorithm is just um, hash, you know, what's it called? Uh, shift and add, right? Shift and add and mod or whatever, right? Uh, you know, just regular hash. Um, trying to make it like more nodey. Um, what's it called? Reversed array or reverse linked list, and then hash, hash and compare, right? Pretty straightforward. That'll be linear time or one space. The other 
way which we'll probably end up doing is to um, find the middle, reverse the front half, um, and then what's it called? Um, yeah, compare and move. What's it? How do you say? It? Um, what's it? Com two pointers compare. You want to call it that? Two pointers compare, uh, and then that's it. And then maybe if you're responsible, and you could reverse the first half again. <laughs> so then now you have. I don't know. I, I might not do that part because I'm lazy. But but yeah, it's still a very awkward solution. But I guess in theory, then um, you manipulate it, it to whatever. But I mean, I think like, I don't know. I, I think that's still a little bit awkward in terms of space usage because sometimes, um, I mean, it probably is not the case here in general or structure, but there's sometimes where, you know, you have protected memory where you cannot, ask, you know, modify it. And then like, if you call this function, they, people might not um, expect that protected memory won't work or something like that, right? So there's a lot of like weird little things for, for this problem for sure. Um, that and uh, stuff like this always makes me feel a little bit weird as a result of that, but but yeah, uh, okay, so let's get started on this one, right? I think I already did define the middle one though, so hmm. yeah, I thought I did get a wrong answer. Let's take a look. What would you uh, do? I have a video for this, hmm, yeah, okay, fine. I guess I did do it that way last time, um, okay, fine. I kind of want to do it the, the new way as well, um, even though uh, I don't know, people may complain about a probabilistic algorithm, maybe that's tr true. Uh, one thing that I will do though is because, I don't know, I struggled with this yesterday, so I'm just going to take a look at yesterday's solution, right, because yesterday was reverse linked list, um, yeah. Right, so then maybe now I could put this here, and then I can do... Uh, Something like this, and then maybe we'll we'll just call it from here, right? So then now we can reuse. And if you don't know how I got this from yesterday, just watch yesterday's video. Uh, it's two oh six reverse link list, right? Uh, and you can all just just search for the date or like day twenty one or whatever of the legal day challenge, whatever it is. You know, I mean, it's like the last few videos I've done, right? So you could do it. Uh, okay, so then now uh, let's get to the half, right? So. Here we have a fast is you go to head, slow as you go to head. Mm, do I want to want a, a new head? Maybe I do. Okay, fine. Maybe a little bit off by one. I'm, I'm always like worried about off by ones to be honest. But and then yeah, so while fast dot next is not none, right? Then fast as you go fast dot next, fast as you go fast dot next, right? Uh, if fast is not none. Well, this would not be none, but not, uh, this may be none, right? So, uh, all right. and then slow as you go to slow that next, right? Um, yeah. Uh, and then now I just want to print out where things are, just because for me, I, I I'm always worried about off by once is why I, I, I and for. And for me, it's um, it's easier to check than work it through most of the time. Uh, so yeah. So okay. So for, uh, I have to do multiple. Oops. Oh, there we go. Okay. So for huh? Oh, this is the fast pointer. That's why. Because fast. Okay. So I don't need to put on fast. Slow is the one that is possibly the middle. Uh, so this is what we want, right? Kind of. Mm, is that true? Well, I was gonna say because that next is the the first the so the, um slow is the the node that is pointing to slow that next is the first node in the half, but that's kind of oh yeah actually that's kind of true so okay yeah yeah because it's one so then two is the first node of the second half but one thing that I do of course when I test is having odd numbers right so let's take a look uh, ideally I'll print the first one or uh, yeah, so this is off by one in that regard, because um, it's now pointing at this one. So I do want it to be at one. Mm. 
Yeah, it's very awkward to get these edge cases for me. I don't know if I'm just getting like slower over the years, but yeah. So then do do. Because fast that nexus none. Okay, so one three one. Uh, do, 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 do. fast would be at three. It goes to one, and then three do do, and then the slow one goes to three. Is that what I want? I mean, I guess it's kind of fine, but versus this? Okay, fast to do, 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 do. If I keep track, how do I keep track in a way that does not, uh, I guess it's just one of these, right? Because basically if fast uh, next is done, then yeah, or the, if this is none, then we break, but, or else, this is an else, right? I think as long as it's consistent, it should be okay. Uh, okay, right. Yeah, so then now three is the middle one, uh, two is the middle one, and this, the two is... Okay, so I think this is now what we expect, or I expect anyway. Um, so here, slow slow dot next is the first node, but, um, but we might still have to be careful, though, of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, how do I handle this? Maybe I need a flag or something. I don't know. I I, I mean, obviously I know how, but I just hesitate to do it. Uh, okay. Odd is equal to true. Okay, fine. I, eh, I feel like that's just way awkward. Okay. So then now, so that next is the first node. If it is odd, then yeah. So then we want to reverse it up to snow, slow, right? So let's just say middle is middle is equal to slow, right? So then now, um, eh, I guess we cannot really use this. Uh, or maybe like we can just say it until, right? And then you have a node. I'm too lazy. To, okay, fine. I'll just, right? And then uh, now, uh, this is just uh, a next thing, right? So then now, um, yeah. And next is not equal to node, right? So then now we can say, okay, middle, right? So then maybe we can use reverse this until um, from head or from new head to middle. Yeah. And then now again we'll print slow down next uh, maybe like second half whatever yeah. right someone like that so then now we can second half and then also maybe middle because maybe middle should I don't know if it, it uh, yeah I think it should I don't know uh self dot and all right so then now middle is going to be middle dot next is i am just putting this right okay yeah i did it down two to one right and then now second half is of two to one but middle is not fixed hmm the self dot reverse head works hmm i wonder if this works Oh, this returns a, a node and I don't save it. Okay, so fine. Left is equal to this, maybe just left half. And then maybe I just go this right just for consistency. Right? Okay, so left is 1 to negative 1, and which is kind of right. I guess uh, I just wanted to make sure because I wasn't sure. Uh, okay, middle down next because I thought I'll be um, maybe off by 1. And as you can see, um, hmm. I think these are just the same pointer, so that's actually wrong. Because so left is equal to this, but it it inverted middle. So then now this is slow dot next maybe. Hopefully this is still right. Yep. Uh yeah. Okay, so this is basically what we want. Um except for we have to handle the odd case for this case. 
and also the new head case which is the negative one uh, maybe we don't need the new head we just need head um, okay yeah so then now you can see we, I mean for the even nodes you can see that this is pretty straightforward we just make a comparison for the odd node um, then we have to do something like um, yeah I mean that's also straightforward uh, if odd then write is equal to write dot next right and we just skip one node and then we can just do a comparison right so yeah so then now uh, while left dot value or left is not none uh, is equal to right dot is not none right basically they have to be have the same status so if that's the case then we go on if left dot value is not equal to right dot value then we return false otherwise left is left dot next uh, and then right is equal to right dot next right uh, actually, if they're both none, then this is wrong. So I don't know. Maybe this is. Um, hmm. How do I write this? Uh, is it an n? Yeah, this is an n, I suppose. And then now we can return left is none and right is none, right? Because that's the that's if we go through all of these. Uh, let's give it a spin. Looks good. Let's give it a submit. Fingers crossed. No silly mistake, please. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot the one element case. I forgot it yesterday, too. So I... Uh, okay. Uh, it, it is true that I, I did not consider it, so I'm not surprised that it is wrong as soon as I saw it. But let, let's give us... Let's just take a look real quick. Uh, okay. Oh, because now the reverse is messed up. Because... Hmm... Wait, is that true? Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. Okay, so this is the one three one, and then this is the one node. So we're trying to find. Oh, uh, I guess the middle is weird too. That's why. So then right is none, left is odd. Uh, uh, I don't even know if it's odd. Oh, it definitely. Mm. I don't know how negative one got back in here, to be honest, but um, it's just the way that we have it in an awkward way. Oh, because I have a re I forgot that I had a new random new node on my reverse thing. So, um, hmm. So this should still just have one node, but it should be. It said head is equal to next, but it returns current because current is not past head, right? But I don't. I think it should actually return zero elements anyway. So, um, so negative one is kind of awkward, right? So if current is equal to new head, then we just return none. I think is what we're supposed to. Um, you could win that in a couple of ways, but um, eh, this is way awkward. I feel like. Not proud of this code, but if it works, I'll be kind of happy for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, there are a couple of ways you can resolve this. I'm not happy with the way that I kind of just kind of hacked this in here. Um, to be honest. How, how come it didn't break yesterday? Oh, but, mm. Actually, I don't know why this doesn't break yesterday. But um, but yeah, that's how, basically how I got another. Do I even use this? I guess so. <sighs> Alright, that's all I have for today. Uh, for this farm. It's a little bit yucky. How did I do it last time? Was it clean enough-ish? Uh, I guess I had to print this uh, thing. Uh, I guess I just kind of did it without functions. Um, if fast is none, then there's the middle node. Okay. Yeah, I guess this is, I just kind of did some assumptions here instead of doing a boolean thing in the middle. Um, but which is, hmm, I don't know. And then here, this is the same thing that we have today. Um, but yeah, but I had some like weird thing about the reverse. So, huh. 
I guess this is the reverse code. And I guess last year, uh, last, not last year, but the last time I did this, the reversal code is cleaner. So uh, I don't know, fewer edge cases. Uh, I guess that's the thing with reusing code is if you, if you reuse bad code, it, uh, it still makes the code not great. And that's why you use TDD and also clean up your code afterwards. Um, all right, friends. I've been disappointing you on the link list the last couple of days, but that's what I have. I'm going to do the premium problem in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, stay good, stay healthy to go mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.